Um, and so we're going to be looking at V2 updates. So we've seen this last couple of weeks. I'm not going to go through all the, the previous items here. I think we saw the left panel last time. We've seen content. We've seen the ability to pull this, this chat bubble out here. But the updates are centered around, let me close this, centered around this new run of prompts. So this is the second step in this workflow. And what you can actually do is test out your prompts here now. So if I want to say, write a summary of this content, I can actually test out this prompt and it will it will create a little chat for me here. Um, and while we wait for that, we also have the ability to save the prompt here. So once you kind of have experimented with, with the prompt that you want to use for your given content, um, you can, why is this? High latency right now, probably. Well, it's a, it's my back end, so uh, oh. we use the deployed back end, so it shouldn't shouldn't be linked. But here we go. So we're getting a summary back of this content. This is my resume search example that I used last time as well. Um, and I can say, okay, this is great. I like what's coming back here, and I can go ahead and just save this prompt. And it says prompt saved, which is great. Uh, so now we can actually configure this step in the workflow. And then the other piece is the share share modal here. So this is what do we do with the output of that prompt? This is pretty similar to the automations that we have configured now. So within the prompt library on Storytel, you can save your prompts and have it send email or Slack. So we can now toggle between those same two options here. And I can go in and type in an email, something like that. And you'll notice that if it's not a valid email, we're actually checking to make sure that's correct too. So we're not even allowing users to put in incorrect emails, which is great. And I think the same goes for the Slack webhook as well. If I just type in this, it's not a valid URL. So it's actually gotta be a valid link that we can use for the webhook, which is great to see. Um, we can even use, Ryan, I was thinking that same functionality to check for links and chat messages. We've talked about doing that. There's tickets out for when we get some bandwidth to, to attack that, but we should be able to use the same logic to check for those URLs as we do here which is great. And we can always save um, AI. I can hit enter here and you can do there. So I think we can add more than one email now as well. Is that correct? So we could yep. send theoretically to more than one person, which is nice. not what we can do right now, which is just a single email. Multi-channel. Stephen has asked for this. Yeah. <laughs> also, such nice work, Ryan. This is really clean and easy to follow. Um, so yeah, great. Awesome. looks great. All of this is awesome. Yeah, so I just want to mention this is a like a shell UI right now, so nothing is saving in the back end. And I'm talking with Jing and Connor about how the new work stream is going to be set up, like the actual architecture of it will be set up in the back end. But yeah, it'll look something like this. Mm -hmm. And hey Ryan, can we just chat for a second about at least the last time I dropped off before I started to travel? in terms of what we want to try to ship first. Um, do you have a, a quick thing to share around that? Or, or or I can also, if you'd prefer, share what I remember us talking about. Yeah, so I think what I remember us talking about was building the initial user onboarding flow from like a brand new account. You see the chat first, you can upload files there, and then it kind of kicks the user into a work stream like this. So I'm still working on the file upload part of the smart chat section. So I didn't have that ready to demo yet, but it'll look something like this where the user, you know, uploads some files, they go into that content block and then the run a prompt and the share blocks also generate in the, in this new work stream. So there's some other things that need to happen on the back end as well before we're able to do that super smoothly. One, one thing that I just wanted to mention for, for the crew here, Connor, can you open up? this chat bubble the way and ryan i'm gonna i'm gonna summarize what i believe to be true tell me if this is not what you believe to be true when i first come as a user i don't see this step i just see a very 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 simple ability to upload content and then to start to chat with it i can chat with it here as much as i want we're thinking about this as kind of like a sandbox mode chat so we want to let the user just get immediate value in terms of chatting when you start to create a work stream is when you want to really scale things out. I might want to run a prompt that I can share out to email each time. So there's like the sandbox chat here, I can get immediate value, but then I can also start to build out a work stream to, uh, to accomplish a job to be done. 
And Ryan, does that accurately capture? Yep, that's accurate. Connor, actually, if you click the new button, let's just see what happens. It might show something that works. Uh, you might have to refresh. So yeah, Jordi, I agree with you. It should be like the chat experience kind of as the full screen to start like this. Mm -hmm. And then you jump into a work stream once you upload some content. And yeah, you still have that sandbox mode chat on the right. Mm -hmm. Nice. I, I love this, by the way, as a first user experience, right? Like every, no one knows where to go to update stuff. So just having it all in one place is, mm -hmm. is really nice. Yeah, super clean. Yes. Clear and clean. Um, With the sharing, will folks also be able to share to multiple Slack channels? I can put that in the UI. I don't know if we have that on the back end yet. Mm -hmm. So I'll coordinate with mm -hmm. uh, Connor and Jing. Definitely yeah. put it in the UI. We can always say it's coming soon if we don't can't mm -hmm. yet support it on, on the back end. It should okay. be really easy to do uh, on the back awesome. end. 